Is minimalism just a trend? Not the term, but the philosophy, the essence of it. As one of you guys wrote in the comments months ago, minimalism is all about freedom. It sets you free and teaches you how to live with yourself without any destructive escapism into things. Hey my friends, if you're new here, I'm Anna Anastasia and this channel is about everything that is mindful, minimalist and creative. As many of you already know, my husband and I had to leave our home countries and become long-term travelers. For now or forever, we have no idea. As the recent disasters in our world have shown, plans get ruined and safety is nothing but an illusion. So we just had to pack our lives into one suitcase, one big and two small backpacks and move on with only the most essential possessions. But would I be a minimalist if things were pretty different in a rooted, safe and alternative reality? Yes, and here is why. Minimalism is not just about a trend, a style, an art movement or design aesthetics. There is a good dose of spirituality in it. The Eastern concept of non-attachment, the Christian concept of becoming passers-by in this world, uh, the concept of moderation in Stoicism, they are all about the same thing as minimalism is. The Tao Te Ching says, fame or self, which matters more, self or wealth, which is more precious, gain or loss, which is more painful. He who is attached to things will suffer much, he who saves will suffer heavy loss. A contented man is rarely disappointed, he who knows when to stop does not find himself in trouble, he will stay forever safe. Before I left my Siberian hometown, I went to have dinner with my aunt and my cousin and later my uncle joined us as well. Uh, he is a professor of mathematics at a local university and now he, he is in his early, not early, mid-70s, I guess. So we were chatting about some unimportant things when all of a sudden he asked what I did with all the books that my father had been collecting for decades in our tiny Soviet apartment. And I said that I did nothing, they were just sitting there, many even not read at all. And then my uncle said that he had been thinking a lot what would become with all his books after it's his turn to pause. And there was a lot of sadness, but also confusion in his words. And I realized that to them, my father and my uncle, books had been the symbol of freedom, but then they turned into a burden, a reminder of all the things that are left after we have to move on. And my uncle understood that idea pretty early, although my father refused to accept that until the very end and he was too attached to the books that he didn't even read. They were valued only at the moment of purchase, like many other things that I had to leave behind and travel with only one suitcase and one backpack. We are constantly throwing our time into the garbage bin because like the money that we spend is not only digits or some material things, right? It's our time that we spend earning the money. It's our life spent. So living with less creates more space within for more important things, for opportunities to be creative and to discover some true meanings and see beyond things.
Yes, minimalism has been in fashion for already quite a few years, but now more and more people begin to say how incredibly restrictive it is, that it's stressful and judgmental and so on. And probably it is for some, but let's be honest, it's all in our heads. We react to other people's comments and judgment. We limit ourselves because we want to comply to some broad social standards invented by yet another human. So here's the thing, just be yourself. Just choose what makes you happy, what makes you free. Again, see beyond limits and things. Why keeping something that hurts you? Refusing to let go ties you to your past, and of course our past should be honored. But I've seen so many examples of people who got trapped into the museum of memories. No one knows when one will die after all, and wasting our precious resources such as time, health and real connections equals to wasting ourselves in the universe of things instead of daring, feeling and experimenting. Almost all isms in our world have been created to challenge the rigid boundaries of other previous isms, but then they kind of inevitably turn into another rigid pattern. That's why minimalism is all about freedom for me. Just finding what limits you and then decluttering it. Minimalism is first of all a response to mindless consumerism that affects not only our own personal well-being, but also our planet and fellow Earthlings. Originally, it was a rebellion against the modern state of the world that manipulates our desire to seem better than other people, to seem more well-off and thus to consume more, and thus artificially expanding our ego through material possessions. But any idea going to its extreme stops being a healthy one, at least yeah, from my point of view and from the point of view of many people. So that's what happened with minimalism over the years. Some people turned it into a rigid box of strict norms that do nothing but, uh, but isolate and suffocate. And I still want to call myself a minimalist. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not extreme. I'm trying not to be limited by the lack of things, not limited by things, not limited by thingism. Things are just things after all, and they all disappear eventually, like we do. In my early 20s, when I wanted to seem smarter and more mindful than average, and than I actually was, when someone asked me about where I saw myself in the future, I said that I wanted to become a radiant, genderless globe of all-embracing light. And yeah, uh, that was too much, and back then I loved being philosophically dramatic, but you get the idea. And since then I'm trying to be more modest in my opinions, but I still believe, and I will always believe, that the most important thing is the light that we carry within, and what you carry outside is your personal choice. Just make sure that there is not much clutter or material prisms that are not letting your true light shine through. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end, my friends. As usual, feel free to share in the comments what you think. Is minimalism dead? Has the idea of minimalism been distorted? And what to do about it? Or just share anything you want. Let's chat. 
And for now, be safe and keep your heart open. And I hope to see you soon. Пока-пока.